Hello everyone. Uh, very recently I've embarked on a journey to develop uh, or build uh, sort of a high performance computer or workstation uh, for me. I thought it's kind of, you know, very easy and wrap everything up. Um, but it was like quite interesting, um, the, the design decisions that I had to take. Um, a few friends of mine kind of recommended that, hey, why, why don't you share that? Uh, that experience uh, on YouTube. So there we go. Um, I would I would share it with you. So uh, let me know if you have any comments, questions, um, uh, and also the reason is I don't want you to kind of you know have the same um, do the same mistakes I uh, I had to go through um, or you know the problems or issues. Uh, so I just wanted to share with you everything um, I've learned it so far and and I, and, and I have done so far. Um, uh, currently, I haven't built it yet. I will once once I finish it. I probably I will I would do another video, but kind of um, the would share, would like to share with you the, the design decisions that I had to take. Um, so uh, let's start. Let's get into it. Uh, number one about um, I had to make a decision about the processor. The processor, and I thought it's going to be you know very easy. So I said you know. Obviously, I don't want a you know extreme system that I would pay a large sum of money. I would like you know kind of um, sort of like high end user consumer or like on the on the fence between a workstation slash server and and um, uh, a consumer high performance desktop. Uh, maybe maybe it could be used for gaming. But the main uh, well, I'm not a gamer, but uh, the main the main reason I could use it. Maybe uh, since I'm a software engineer, I could use it, you know, in machine learning, set up uh, artificial intelligence or uh, large language models, or I can, you know, maybe in the finance, in the finance work on the, you know, machine and um, machine learning in, in, in financial applications, this kind of thing. So, so I kind of more or less knew what, what, um, what I'm looking for but not quite exact, right? So anyway, so I started looking, okay, what processor should, you know, um, should I start with? And obviously I should, I wanted to start with in, Intel, what is the latest? So I started with a Score i9, um, 14th um, generation, 14900. And, and, and it was quite good. I looked at the performance, um, the performance, um, uh, you know, analyses and, and results, and it, it was quite, I, I, was, I was happy compared to the price I would pay with it. So I could, okay, uh, I ordered that. Uh, and then the next step is to figure out what motherboard should I use, and then, you know, um, pick the graphics card. Initially, I wanted to have one graphics card, right? But as I started getting into the process, I said, oh, let me, you know, let me start with a couple of, uh, NVIDIA graphics card, and obviously which one. So again, I applied the same methodology and I found, yes, um, and the GeForce 4090 uh, is, is a bit too much, but, you know, compared to the other, to the other high-end um, uh, graphics card um, or, or NVIDIA graphics card, that was like highly performant. It kind of fits the bill. It's not extremely expensive compared to the other ones, and yet, um, on the on par or very close in terms of performance. So I um, I I kind of decided on the 4090 GeForce and um, RTX and uh, GeForce RTX 4090. And I actually got two of them, like the one in the uh, these two in the background. So I have uh, the two uh, GPUs and the motherboard and the processor. And in terms of the memory, I kind of okay. Um, once I decide on the motherboard. I will decide the memory, uh, the RAM. Uh, I will try to get as much as I can, and and there you go. Um, honestly, so I, I got the motherboard. I think I got. Let me see. I got the MSI um, Meg uh, Z seven ninety got like Max. Pretty expensive one, and and the reason I liked it, it has uh, slots for, you know, um, well, in addition to to the RAM, it, just, it didn't have. Too much for RAM, to, to tell you the truth. I think it had like f just four slots, um, maximum 256 gigabytes uh, of RAM each slot, which is 
if you buy that, it's extremely expensive. So which means I, I have to buy um, much lower capacity. Uh, but the reason I liked it, it has, I think, about seven slots for M2, um, M2 storage. I could have eight terabytes on those. Um, might not be, I, I might not fill the entire seven slots, but if I get four or five, um, that would be great. And it also supported Gem 5. So uh, there you go. Um, it's very good in terms of performance as well. It turned out after ordering this, I had to return back most of that stuff. In fact, probably all. I returned the motherboard, the processor, and, and the GPUs. Um, I, I kind of replaced the GPUs, and I'll tell you why. Um, so the here is the, I'm not sure if you can see it. I, re, I returned this for, uh, for, you know, I replaced this one. I, I purchased this one, which is Asus, uh, and I returned the other one. Why? Uh, because it turns, and, and why I also returned the processor. It turns out that um, the graphics card, the GPUs, needs a PCI uh, e, uh, X16, and, uh, you know, and the processor that I'm using from Intel only supports 24, and therefore also the motherboard supports uh, 24 lanes, uh, PCIe Express. Uh, and if I use two, that means um, they might share lanes. Uh, you might argue that the performance-wise is not going to uh, huge impact, or depends on your application, to be honest. Uh, but you can, you can see where I'm, where I'm going. I started saying, no, I really would like to have... Um, I, I don't, you know, if I, if I want to buy systems for years to come, kind of future-proof, uh, I would like to have, you know, more capacity. And I started looking into the process, the processor in the motherboard, and it turns out the processor has to support much more, like, bandwidth. And therefore, I started looking into um, AMD, and AMD uh, Threadripper Pro in particular. I picked um, that one. Um, sure if, uh, actually, I, I installed it, but um, this processor is, is AMD Threadripper Pro um, 7975 uh, WX, which is pretty good. It's 30 core, 64 threads. Uh, pretty expensive as well, but compared to the uh, higher end of that, of that family uh, and the lower end, I think the sweet spot is for this processor. Uh, 32 core, 70, um, 64 threads. And it supports a huge amount of lanes, PCI Express Gen 5, and about one, uh, 144 uh, PCI Express lanes. Uh, 128 lanes of them are Gen 5. I'm sorry, I wish I could use a more graphical uh, interface, but um, I will share all my uh, all all what I what I used. Um, so. Uh, you know, all the links for the for the boards and whatnot uh, with you guys. So here, this is the board. I end up, um, um, this board, like, uh, let me uh, tell you exactly, it's WR, Asus WRX90, um, which support the Threadripper Pro, and it also, um, it, it has um, about seven PCIe uh, uh, GPU slot over here, which is amazing. It supports about it supports eight slots for the memory, for the RAM, and each one could reach you know in total about two terabytes. But I filled them with just um, um, 96 uh, gigabytes of uh, ECC uh, registered RAM, um, uh, registered modules, which is which is insane. Um, I think uh, um, the the speed about 5.6 uh, gigahertz which is also really, really great. So I was very happy. It does not support as much in terms of M2 slots, but that's fine. It, it has about four, right? So underneath here, about four M2 slots in addition. So I, I, I was very, uh, very happy with this RAM and I also installed the, the, the processor over here. Um, another design requirement that I really would want to, to, to have is, um, which is the reason 
I use those uh, GPUs is that I don't want to do uh, I don't want to do a custom custom cooling and, and all the complexity of custom cooling. So, but in the same time, I like. Um, liquid cooling. Um, I don't like air air cooling in general as much as I can. I might use it for fans to 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 cool to cool the case, right? So um, that's why I like pretty much this is um, it's, uh, this one is um, um, MSI Supreme Liquid uh, Liquid X. Let me see if you if you see the name. It's really amazing because. If you notice, most of the graphics cards that um, uh, that are air cooled is really thick. They take about three slots. This one is re is relatively thin, way thinner, and it takes about two slots. And also, it's it's, it's liquid cooled, so it's going to be quite. It's going to be more efficient, and um, I, I you know I can it, it will take um, much less space. Which also, um, that leads to the other point. Remember that uh, I said that, that, that this motherboard have only, has only four M2 slots for storage. But this enabled me to buy this, um, um, this adapter. It's Hyper M2, which is ASUS Gen 5 X16 uh, uh, PCIe. I can put here in this about four, um, four um, SSD. Uh, M2, M.2, and all of them are going to use uh, uh, PCIe Express Gen 5, even though there are four, because I don't want to, uh, I don't want to, you know, they are pretty, pretty expensive though. So for the storage, I got, I got uh, the SSD Gen 4. However, I got two um, Gen 5, a bit more expensive, but I got two four terabytes. I'm going to add them to the motherboard. Um, so I, one of them I'm going to add the, in the operating system on, on, on it, and the other one I'm going to use for scratch, uh, like working area, to, to expedite the performance of, of, of the application and, and, and also the, the operating system. Uh, in terms of cooling, uh, I got this guy uh, over here. Uh, I'm, it's Enermax. Max. Um, I got a recommendation from YouTube on it that it can it's very good for the Threadripper, and it, it, it has a, a capacity of removal of about 500 watt. So I'm gonna I'm gonna check that, and uh, I'm not gonna be able to you know that know that for sure unless I uh, you know I'm use it for. So I'm I'm getting this for for cooling the the CPU. So hopefully I with 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 the liquid cooling, uh, liquid cooled uh, GPUs and liquid cooled CPU. I don't need any customized. Um, liquid solutions because that's I really wanted to avoid that unless I put you know the the general the normal fa um, fans and I, I kind of am using Lian Li because also I'm gonna, I, I got the the case which is Lian Li uh, over there. However, um, the case also I'm returning. Um, I'm getting the new one soon. I mean hopefully today. So this one is the Lian Li Evo uh, X Large, which is amazing. I really um, I didn't want to return it. But the reason I'm returning it is because, uh, unfortunately, this motherboard is um, it's not EATX, it's EEB. And I thought, um, after doing this change and whatnot, I thought they have the same size. And I thought, oh, they're going to be compatible. Unfortunately, they are not. So the Lian Li Evo does not support EEB, it supports EATX, which is both of them, whether EATX or EEB are 12 by 13 inches. That's why I thought they are compatible, but they are not. So that's that's one of the tricks that you need to, or the pitfalls that you you would like, you would want to avoid in case uh, you know you want to go this route. I ended up searching a lot of cases that supports EEB, and I got a lot of you know that have, that have been a large uh, number. Well, not not a very large like other um, um, other you know. Um, form factors, but uh, honestly, I wanted, um, I wanted Lian Li, I, I really liked it from, from here. It wasn't the best, um, but, but um, you know, there have been other options as well, but I think I liked uh, Lian Li more, the VT, so I ordered the VT, uh, sorry, the V3000, which is amazing, it's huge. Um, there's another, another requirement I had, the reason I bought, um, 
uh, um, I felt like I will have lots of uh, power requirements that might exceed just one power supply. So I got the power supply, I ordered the, uh, the, the Dark Power Pro 13, which is 1600 watt. Let me see if I can, uh, it's, it's over here, this one, uh, which is amazing. I got, there are lots of reviews about it. It's very quiet. However, um, uh, I might need another one. So I wanted the, the, the case to easily uh, support two uh, PSUs. Uh, the motherboard supports it, um, supports two PSUs. Uh, however, the case supports one of this size, which is ADX size, and, the, and supports another one, which is SFX. And I don't like that. I, I, I was hoping to support you know, uh, two ADXs. So, I might order another one the same size and I will try to find even maybe, um, I'm searching now for a bracket so that, that can help me to be able to install both uh, ADX power supplies. Each one is 1600. I might, I might be able to do with this one uh, so far. So I'm, you know, so let, let, let's see how, uh, how it goes. What else? Um, I think it's, that's it for now. Uh, I might share another video when I um, I will install the, the, the you know the whole thing and I and then I will uh, I will share that video with you. Thank you so much. Bye bye.